look at these uh, two sentences let's read them first and then we will decide what are you supposed to do look at sentence number one mr phillips has taken a decision to go to a foreign country in the following month got the idea mr phillips has taken a decision to go to a foreign country in the following month i have just underlined a few parts of the sentence to make you clearly understand what the sentence stands for definitely we see mr phillips has taken a decision to go to a foreign country in the following month now match this idea of the first sentence with sentence 2 look mr phillips decided has taken a decision compared with decided to go abroad to go to a foreign country a foreign country one word replacement in the following month in the following month next month these students you might have noticed that in these two sentences idea is same but style of uh, expressing that idea is different what is the difference now just tell me do you have some idea okay let me explain it difference is that more words have been used over here more words let me write it down more words but in the sentence two fewer words this is called the style of speaking the style in which we use more words to say something is called wordiness so which of these two sentences is wordy of course sentence one is wordy wordy because more words have been used to convey one idea as compared to the first sentence the second one having the same idea but with very few words mr phillips decided to go abroad next month so dear students we can define the word wordiness in a way that it is a style of speaking in which we use fewer words preciseness is there so let's move on to the next topic point that is redundancy now redundancy what is redundancy look at the sentence oh i forgot my pin number and atm machine snatched my card oh that's the bad news look at the sentence again oh i forgot my pin number and atm machine snatched my car so look at these two capitalized acronyms pin number and atm machine so what is pin let me just explain the first word pin personal identification number and atm stand for automatic teller machine it stands for atm it stands for pin pin let's read the sentence again oh i forgot my pin number and atm machine snatched my card so if you use any acronym or short form it is followed by an other similar word that is the short form of number n is the short form of number and m is the short form of machine this is the overuse of words so redundancy stands for overuse of word when you introduce in a sentence one word one similar word twice that is called redundancy and it is an error of style my dear students redundancy and wordiness they are closely linked in wordiness you use more words to say one thing but in redundancy 
you say same word twice to say something let's proceed so my dear student you have gone through the idea of wordiness definitely wordiness is a style in which we use more words to convey our idea so there are different examples look at them the column on right side and column on left side both are same i mean both convey the same idea there is no difference for example here for example here at this place are same now at the moment same today the present day same yesterday the previous day same my my own or my personal sometimes we have some extraordinary stress in the sentence after the word my we use own or personal no doubt it goes without saying my dear students here you can see idea is the same but what is the difference difference is with the words so in which we use more words this style is called wordy style and here you can see fewer words are used this is called non wordy style so it goes on cross anyways you have to identify out sentences in which idea is the same and you have to reject those sentences or eliminate those sentences which have a little bit different idea because style of wordiness can be assessed only uh, of two sentences having same idea okay let's do this example now look at this example ali put up an application for a job idea is very simple ali put up an application for a job the same idea is conveyed very briefly ali applied for a job you can see both ideas are same they are identical but the way of expressing those ideas is different this is called wordy style that is considered an error and this is non wordy style this is considered correct style so you are supposed to find out the correct since idea is the same in two sentences that's why we can compare them regarding wordiness but if we make a little bit change in the idea now you can see in this sentence idea varies here we are not talking about the subject ali but we are talking about khalid here you cannot match this sentence with that of this you cannot compare first sentence with the third one because here idea is dis distorted idea is distorted idea is different wordiness can be checked only when two sentences are giving the same idea so this will not be considered or this will not be compared with the first one so you can just eliminate those options from your question paper which vary in idea and pick up any two sentences definitely those sentences will be there where idea will be same but use of words will be different so the sentence will be your answer the best choice that contains fewer words so dear students now comes the second point that is redundancy as we have discussed redundancy is a repetition of word so dear students let's move to the second point that is redundancy redundancy is basically repetition basically redundancy stands for overuse of words conveying the same meaning i mean we sometimes writers are in the habit of uh, introducing synonymous words or the words which are no more needed in the sentence if we just take them out it makes no difference in sentence sense you will get the better idea about it so first example past memories you have to read and understand it which word is actually giving or repeating the idea for example past and memories since memories are based on past since memories are the part of past so this word is additional we can also call it dead use of word i mean it makes no difference if we apply this word as the adjective or before the word memory or not it makes no difference so that's why it is called redundant past memories free gift so no gift is uh, on payment you know the one who receive gift 
he receives it free of cost so this word free is uh, futile it is not needed over here final decision so when we decide after a long discussion if we reach the point where we have to take the decision it's definitely final so the word final is redundant i mean redundant again students keep this thing in mind redundant is a word that is extra i mean spare here in the sentence if we see fair a spare word we can take it out or we can put it in it makes no difference anyways final decision so final word is redundant then my personal opinion so if we look at the middle word personal or my that is personal adjective over here my opinion having the same meaning as my personal opinion what do you think so young children children are already young you know we can't say uh, bigger children children are children slightly if you are putting an emphasis on their innocence then you can use by the way but the style does not need it anymore so redundant word is young then sick patient so similarly the definition of a patient is the one who is suffering from some sort of disease so sick sickness is there that's why a man or a woman is called a patient so if somebody is a patient it's understood that he is or she is sick so no need to point it out blue color so there are different colors blue is a color it's, it is not the meaning of something else some gadget or some other article blue is a color so word color is additional over here so redundant word you have to identify after reading the sentence carefully now end result here you can see result comes at the end so end word is redundant my dear students whatever words i have bracketed they are redundant if you use them in the sentence or not it makes no difference that's why it is called redundancy this is the error of style uh, i hope at the end you might have understood the differences between wordiness and redundancy you will uh, through the example you have understood that how you can check whether the errors of uh, wordiness and errors of redundancy fall in the paper so best of luck student now let's do some example keep practicing at home keep practicing this is the only way to get grip on such ideas because i have earlier told you that in fse such ideas are not discussed it's not a part of their syllabus or exams though these features are used in english language but it is not asked in the examination that's why students and teachers both don't bother to explain them in the class now it is time for you when you enter into some college or university you have to undergo an examination then you have to uh, have the better idea of such stylistic errors so best of luck students let's move towards some examples one thing more keep watching my youtube channel there is always a new idea discuss in detail so i hope you will wait for my next video so dear students let's move towards some examples look at the first one mr john a famous artist he lives in the uptown area so do you think it's grammatically correct but where there is error of style so just revise mr john a famous artist he lives in the uptown area if you look closely mr john is the subject of the sentence so this is the additional part this phrase is an additional part so if we continue the sentence skipping it mr john he lives so we are giving two subjects to a sentence one is a noun mr john and other is pronoun that is he so out of these two words we can use just one either noun or pronoun you know pronoun is simply the replacement of noun so this word is redundant we can just skip it this is the error mr john our famous artist lives in the uptown area here goes the right sentence now look at second example the reason why i admonished him is because he stole my assignment you know idea has been elaborated exaggerated or stretched by using more words the reason why is the synonymous to because 
you can just use one word because like I admonished him because no need to introduce unnecessary words given the same idea. So in this sentence, there is an error of style. You can call it redundancy. Here redundancy and in the second sentence, you can also see redundancy. Correct sentence would be like this. I admonish him because he stole my assignments. So I hope you have got the idea of what is redundancy and what is redundant style. Last but not the least, the little tiny and small creature, a firefly entered my bedroom yesterday. So it's a good news. But what is the error you can find out and how the error is identified? You can see the little tiny and small creature. In this segment, you can see little having the same meaning as that of small and small is the having the same meaning like tiny. So there are three words, synonymous words, identical words giving the same meaning. So this is also considered overuse of words. So this is the redundant style. If we just say little or we introduce an adverb very little. So no need to use tiny and small although little word is having the same meaning. So when you use more words to say the same idea. So that style is called redundant style. So you have to correct it by eliminating unnecessary words, rephrasing the sentence or you have to choose from the given examination what is redundant and skip it find out which is not so at the end my dear students uh, watch my video and you don't practice at home then all these things will go white so keep practicing and with the great hope that you will get 100 percent result in the examination it's quite easy to understand but it will be easier to apply if you make practice thank you very much have a good day allah hafiz